All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to make a chain link and a chain, and I'm going to have a chain that bends. All right. Um, before you start, you need to click this button down here. It's not a necessity, but um, it's going to put you in orthographic view. You'll see this text up here on the left. Um, so we'll start with this line here, and use the circle from center, and we'll click here and drag out to about right here. Alright, I'm going to bring this up just a little bit here. Then I'm going to go in, I'm in edge mode. I'm going to right click over half of this. And I'm going to control X and control V. You can see in the command view here the hotkey that I press. I'm going to bring this down. This is going to be the bottom of the link here. Um, to see, I want to kind of decide how round I want to link. This will make kind of long. I don't know. This looks pretty good there. Use the polyline and select this last one so it'll connect to this one here. Then hold the shift key and it's going to snap to this point and it must snap to this point. So we'll validate that. And I always clap the DG here with this lightning bolt. Alright, now we got two curves here. Alright, as long as that one point snapped to the other, this is the next step is going to work right. If, it, if they're not connected, it, it won't work right. I'll show you here in a second. So we're going to use this weld press the A for weld all. Now we got one curve here. These weren't snapped together. This they would not this would not go into one curve. And we're gonna go back over the lines tab here. Then we're going to close the hole here. Alright. We're in edge mode still so I'm gonna select here. I want to get the center. This is I'm gonna have a little bulge in the um, <clears throat> in the link here and this is where I'm gonna have it at. Use the line tessellate and it's gonna put a point in the center. Alright then I'm gonna drag over these two here and do that again all right now um, I'm gonna select the point above this one in the middle and one below it grab this cube and scale it in now, this is how the width on the um, on the side of the chain link that's gonna be bulging out um, with that done I'm, I don't need this point no more right here I can I could leave it if I want to if not not a big deal then I'm gonna hit the backspace on the keyboard not the delete key the backspace and it's gonna remove it all right then we're gonna go into the next step by make sure the object mode is selected surface modeling then we're gonna add some thickness and we're gonna make this chain kind of a little bit fat here validate that and this is going to be the area right here. This is the chain link's going to bulge out. So I'll hold the control key, and there's a little red cube here. And I'll put my cursor across it and just drag it out how big you want it. Now it's going to have a, it's going to have a little dip in there, so you'll have to grab the cube up here on the um, manipulator and just kind of squish it back down where you want it. All right. Now why I'm in this mode right here. Um, when I subdivide it, it's going to get two rounds, so we'll go to the vertex modeling, use this edge tool, use the second one, I'm going to be dragging downwards. All right, I'm going to pull down just a little bit. If it's too close to the edge, you'll get a real hard edge. I want a little bit round right here. All right, and let's just test that. And, I don't know, that look, doesn't look too bad. And you can have something like that. And if I wanted to tighten it up a little bit down here, it's getting a little bit too rounded. Let's say here, and here, and we'll loop that. Let's try that again with this edge tool. Let's bring this up. And that should help maintain the shape just a little bit better. Don't look too bad. All right, all right. Since we got that done, the history of the subdivision, I'm going to turn this because I'm going to be using the multiple copies and it's going to make a multiple copy going out to the right. Alright, we're going to go ahead and scale this down a little bit right here. Front view mode. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give this one subdivision level because it's going to shrink the mesh up just a little bit and control C and control V this and I'm going to bring this across and I want them just about touching about right here okay that's why um, right here this little gap right here in the middle 
um, I subdivide it because this is going to give me a better overall view because when I get done at the final results I will subdivide it and I don't want to have a big old gap there and hold the shift key and snap directly right here alright we're going to remove the history of this one here do the same right here alright we've got two over here in the scene tree and we're going to go ahead and we're going to weld as you can see we got two here weld all these here simple enough now we're going to go ahead and add multiple copies and like I said I turned it because it's going to be going out in this direction so we go through utilities and use multiple copies and you can see we got a little gap right here all right and I'm going to drag in here in this little box on the offset and use my scroll mouse wheel bring it back if the kind of got to visualize it and don't move your cursor out of the box else it will stop and you know I could use this for the subdivision but I think I'm just gonna eyeball this one that looks good enough all right then we're gonna add some more to this and we're gonna use the number here Keep on clicking it to how many links that you want. Alright, we'll just go ahead and validate that. Now it's got a backup copy here, and I'm just going to go ahead and just weld this all together so it's all one piece here. And we're going to go ahead and hold the shift key and snap this around. Alright. So far, looking pretty good here. Let's give it a little shine here, take a look not bad all right in the next step here um, we're going to do some curvature to this uh, link or this chain link here and we're going to use this uh, lines and we're going to use the intro plated curve all right I'm going to select here here kind of follow down the line here double click watch DG now we can use the bend option here's the problem with that if we use this bend option this looks good but actually um, you can see the length it's bending the length in the chain link right here um, we don't want that length to be bent because steel don't bend like that this is force got a lot of force on it so I need to um, I'm gonna go ahead and make something um, more equal spacing and I like doing that with the um, 3D primitive in this grid here. When I select it, I'm going to select this um, snapped feedback grid down here. And when you, when I start clicking, keep an eye over here. All right, I'm going to click about right here. And if you look over the right, you see the width and height. Um, I like to keep it kind of even, so I'll click here and just drag all the way up. I stop it at 5,000 by 5,000, and we're going to just drag it up to like get a few here and just click I'm select an edge here and we're going to loop all the way down it and we're going to go control X and control B alright and we're going back in object mode and we're going to use this bend option okay we're going to go into the utilities and bend it um, sometimes when you bend it if you look at this trihedron down here if it doesn't look like it's supposed to just tip it to that trihedron does something different because sometimes you'll get different results so let's just take a try here and see what happens and we'll select here alright now that worked that worked pretty good uh, I selected this line first then selected the second line we don't need this line no more alright now we don't want this to these links to bend so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, select the um, face mode I'm gonna get two of these here because they're going in opposite directions two faces I hold the shift key to select them now this time I'm going to hold the shift key down and over on the numpad on the very far right of your keyboard or most keyboards um, just hold it down so the shift keys first then hold the numpad down of uh, the plus sign all right and that's going to highlight all that I'm get a copy control C control V all right uh, the next step is make sure we're back in object mode and we're going to use copy on support we're going to select here and select over here. 
Now, number three seems like it's going to work. Um, it looks a little funny now is because um, the links are here are just too big, so we're going to need to scale it down. So let's try 0 0.400. Press apply. All right, they're still jammed up a little bit. We're going to have to do a little bit more. Let's try 300. Apply. Um, there still needs to go a little more. 200. That is too much. All right, that looks pretty good. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and hide that curve. And uh, I could subdivide this. Um, just gonna slow down my computer. Let's take a look at this with a little Chrome action here. And we'll take a look at this one here that's all bend up. And you can see how this link. Now these links are not all bend now. They're just um, following the, the uh, curvature instead of bending like the bend tool does. But anyway, I think this is going to wrap up this video. And thank you very much.